girls, ladies in Europe have gotten into the taxi cab of a Muslim man in Europe only to find themselves being raped. And I'm not talking just occasionally. I'm talking an epidemic. Not just raped, but the pictures are so graphic of them beaten to a bloody pulp. By the way, many of them are blonde. Why are they partial to blondes? And why are these Muslim taxi cab uh, drivers raping these women who get in their cab? What is this a sign of for Europe? Is that coming to America? And by the way, I think it was a judge over there that told these women quit getting in the cab with them and they went around and started trying to hire more women cab drivers so women would feel comfortable getting into a cab. What is this all about in Europe? Why are they raping blondes? Why are they raping anybody? What does that say about where they're at in Europe and is that coming to America? Well, first of all, it's called the gang rape, uh, the rape game, sorry. Um, again, open the book of Quran. Verse after verse after verse after verse on chapter 4, chapter 5, chapter 3, chapter 9. Um, you'll see over and over the word sex slaves. Uh, who are the sex slaves? Sex slaves are um, non-Muslim women. Um, and on chapter 24 and chapter 33, it is warned to Muslim women to lower your eye, your gaze, look down. As a Muslim woman, you look down, you look at the floor, and you whisper so your voice isn't heard fully, and you wear your hijab. Chapter 24, chapter 33. Now, it ends by lower your uh, eye and wear your hijab so you will be known and not be abused. You do the opposite. In the mind of a Muslim man, you're automatically a target. You look them in the eye, you're not wearing a hijab, the complete opposite of the order of Muhammad, uh, Allah to Muhammad. So you will be raped. Also, again, you read Quran and you read Hadith of Muhammad. Every time Muhammad went to war, when he conquered, they killed all men, captured all women. And those women were trophies for his army, for his soldiers as sex slaves. They are at war with us. In Europe, they are way ahead of the game. So every time they conquer an area, they start raping their sex slaves, being non-Muslim European women or girls. And yes, they will obviously try to hire female drivers to make women safer, feel safer, instead of arresting all those rapists and make women feel safer because we don't want to hurt their feelings because we don't want to provoke them so they don't go blow themselves up. You know, we have to be careful. As Trevor said, we let them run us. We stand down and not provoke them. We don't hurt their feelings so we can stay safe. What kind of war is that? No, let's retaliate. It bothers you if I'm a non-Muslim not wearing a job looking you in the eye, get out of my country. Go in an Islamic country where women are going to wear their hijab and look down. Pretty simple. No, we're going to have to go hide. Very soon when you say they're hiring female drivers, if you look into any Islamic country, here's how the system works. Every boss, the back of the boss, half, the half back of the boss is the female uh, portion and the front is the male portion. Wherever you go, there's a separation of men and women because under Islam, if you're not halal to each other, you're not supposed to be in the same area. They're doing the same thing. Let's force the government to separate the female passengers from male passengers. Sharia again. Wow. No wonder you've got 11 fatwas on you, Annie. Talk too much? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're glad you're bold.